people on it. Show the messages. Release the messages. Show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? That was Doc's response after he openly admitted to one seventh of the whole world that he texted a minor inappropriately, giving the nickname the two timer a whole new meaning. All he needs to do is text another minor inappropriately, and it is fulfilled to give you a little bit of recap he snitched on himself with that tweet then he disappeared for a month went with his lawyers and his pr team and he they decided to come up with a solution of saying that it was all part of the plan i was playing chess and you are playing checkers you know who i am i am the two-timer i dunked all of you and this was all part of the plan i purposely said that it was inappropriate so media team will pick up on it so lawsuits can happen and we went over it piece by piece in the 20 minute video i made last month about doc's response he also went on and said that twitch openly admitted that there was no thing happening between me and that person and that person in that state at the time she was of legal age twitch's trust and safety team the same employees that decided to ban me internally admitted that the whisper messages were not and two twitch's trust and safety team the same employees that decided to ban me internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute sexual csam i'll say it again neither i nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. First of all, say hi, this is Optimus Prime, Mother Cat, if you've been around the channel, is Megatron. Just picture Optimus as Doc right now. He goes and he tries to forcefully shakalaka boom boom Megatron. He gets caught. He goes on Twitter and admits that he wanted to shakalaka boom boom Megatron, but then a month later, after taking a whole vacation, coming back and saying, I only made it look like I only put Megatron in a doggy position, but I didn't do it. I only made you believe that I was going to do it. Dog! Now, if there was no inappropriate conversations, we don't need a trust me, bro. We need to see proof. We need to see the screenshots. People want to show the messages, release the messages, show the messages. What are we in second grade? But hey, I guess that is over. I guess Doc is forgiven right now, just like Loki from Avengers. He tried to distort the world and now he's forgiven for the things that he's done people still troll him but he's pulling the numbers and his community is backing him up he posted this recently saying his live streams are picking up to 10 million views he also reapplied for youtube monetization after youtube decided to demonetize him but hey it seems like people are backing him up everyone's moved on from it no one when was the last time you thought about dr disrespect i mean people can change he was very young when he texted that minor he was only 35 years old and now he's like 42 years old he was a kid he didn't know you know what's good or bad we should just move on and forgive i guess now with the latest drama about the two-timer it all started with kick and dr disrespect after the kick co-founder claims that dr disrespect streaming deal would be a waste of money uh would you ever offer at this time him a contract considering he does not have one uh monetization options have not been reverted back to his youtube stream um do you have any difference of opinion than what you had a couple months ago yeah making a deal with dr disrespect like from a financial and a business perspective right now would make zero sense right like it it would do more harm for kick and it would be a waste of money at this point in time is my opinion now one thing you don't do to the two-timer is disrespect them because he created the disrespect that's why it's called doctor disrespect if you disrespect the two-timer get ready because he's going to insult you with his fake mustache and fake hair i'd retire before considering streaming on kick full stop my community is the best in the industry dot 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 and i wouldn't take it there doc i don't think you need to guac guac your community more i think they already forgave you but okay there's a reason why they keep dropping my name think about it as in you know they want to use my name for clicks and views definitely not what i'm doing right now what, what we do is report and we talk shit you're here for the juicy drama and i'm here to give you the juicy drama now today's big fat juicy drama is brought to you by aiden ross after he saw this tweet aiden ross playing a major role in kick you insult kick is as if you insulted his mother he's go going to come after you see but what do you think about that so you'd rather go to twitch the platform that tried to ruin him than kick it makes no sense that's a great point bro. it's actually not yeah. true by the way i'm not gonna vouch you but someone that uh, has equity of kick an equity owner, I can give out that he was in uh, serious conversations with Dr. Speck about coming to kick. Of course he is. He wanted too much money, and that's why he got turned down. So Dr. Speck, don't lie to the people. You were trying to come to kick. You were having a conversation with, I'm not going to say who, but you know who, and you were going to come, but you didn't get offered as much money as you wanted. Now, this is the only time I believe that trust me, bro, without having any evidence. 
Aiden Ross has a big share in the company. Obviously, he hears about these things. Who's going to get a deal? Who's not going to get a deal from the streaming industry? I'd rather retire before joining Kick because my community, East West, is the best. I wouldn't dare take it to that degenerate platform. But if you would have gave, given me the right price, honestly, I would take my beautiful community there because I care about my community so much. And obviously, after Aiden dropping that pile of shit on Doc, he has nothing to say. What is he going to say? Oh, what I mean, second grade arguing like this? I said that you know I would never come to kick them. Th that's the truth. Trust me, bro. Are we in second grade? Now look, if Doc didn't text a minor inappropriately as he snitched, he just snitched on himself and he you know let it out there thinking that everyone's going to be supportive because he's coming out with the truth, but everyone just sh shut talk them. If he wouldn't have texted a minor, I don't really care about him. I just find him cringe. I am the two-timer. You know who I am. You don't disrespect me. I disrespect you, you donkey. And going back to the I said the inappropriate thing on purpose to clickbait and rage bait everyone. Because Twitch said that there was nothing, you know, sexual happening, no text or images that came out between me and that user. Then Doc! What the fuck were you talking about to this? What, what what does inappropriate mean in this situation? Were the 35 year old you texting this whatever year old who was underage minor? You c admitted that it was a minor saying that you donkey fucking. No, you're a donkey. No, you donkey bitch. No, fuck you. Were you cursing at each other? That's why it was an inappropriate conversation happening. I'm confused. I need something at least but anyways moving on slasher also another person who exposed um you know dr suspect for texting a minor back in like uh, 2017 he tweeted dr suspect won't be getting anything from kick or even rumble anytime soon now this is a one trust me bro that i don't believe aiden ross He's in a position to for us to believe the trust me, bro. He's not so much. And the news article who published it according to Slasher via Slasher, as you can see, said that Rumble reportedly joins Kick in declining to sign Dr. Suspect to a big contract. Let's hope they don't give him a minor contract. <laughs> Doc responded, well, let's ask the CEO of Rumble right now. Hey, Chris, is this confirmed question? Mark? Indeed, Chris comes to the rescue. He's the CEO of uh, Rumble. Add Slasher to the list of lying corporate media. We have never declined having Dr. Suspect on Rumble. If the CEO of Rumble is talking to Doc as if they're besties and replying to each other's tweets, I guess they might be cooking something, but nothing is revealed yet. They haven't offered anything nor declined anything. Now, YouTube still hasn't monetized Doc. We don't know if they're going to. Maybe they will. They're just trying to, you know, wait for things to lie down as the same shit happened to Sniper Wolf after she docks Jack Films and... She, they just waited for, you know, the whole heat to come down and they just monetized Sniper Wolf once again. I'll be completely honest with you. I lost full interest into this whole dog thing. I just made the video to report on it, keep you up with things, update your memory and for you something to watch while you're like eating your food. I also come with good news as well. I found Ironhide last night, as I promised, I'm going to feed this cat if... You know, we see how much subscribers we can get from that video. Blackmail that I did on you the other night and I did found, but I didn't have any tree. So I decided to feed it the whole uh, Felix Milix of this whole junky, delicious gravy shit. Basically McDonald's of um, humans. I also want to take a moment and thank you for subscribing to the channel, even though it's not for me, even though it's for the cats. It's fine. This morning when I woke up and I saw 30k. I got horny. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as usual. Like, subscription if you're new here. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.